What's happening, players? This is Super Pixel Bunny coming at you with Alan Wake, a little game that I got for sale on your friendly neighborhood Steam market. And sadly, this is me trying to be clever. Sorry, guys, but um. Anyway, uh, this is a really story-driven uh, action adventure game slash horror, I guess. And um, now. Okay, I guess I'm, I'm cheating a little bit because I did start a previous game and I played quite a ways, like, through chapter one and part of chapter two, so I do know some of the stuff that's gonna happen, and so, like, my commentary might kind of suck, but, um, like I said, it's a super story-driven game, so, um, I commentary probably won't really matter much anyway, and I probably won't even be saying much, but, um... If, you know, watching, like, really long cutscenes and, you know, listening to a lot of, uh, dialogue is not for you, um, then maybe watch a different playthrough of a different game. But, uh, for those of you who are interested in seeing, like, what the story is about and just, uh, watching what's going on and figuring out how to play it, you know, then this is a good playthrough for you, possibly. I, I don't know. Uh, I'm not even going to try to impress anyone, honestly. It's, uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to go for easy, because I panic. <laughs> Stephen King once wrote that nightmares exist outside of logic, and there's little fun to be had in explanations. They're antithetical to the poetry of fear. In a horror story, the victim keeps asking why, but there can be no explanation, and there shouldn't be one. The unanswered mystery is what stays with us the longest, and it's what we'll remember in the end. My name is Alan Wake. I'm a writer. So fancy, you being a writer. Oh my god. I've always had a vivid imagination, but this dream unsettled me. It was wild and dark and weird, even by my standards. So yes, it began with a dream. Following a typical nightmare pattern, I was late, desperately trying to reach my destination, a lighthouse, for some urgent reason I couldn't remember. I'd been driving too fast down a coastal road to get there. Whoa, shit. <laughs> I'd seen the hitchhiker too late. Isn't this how I know what you did last summer starts? Alan, I think yeah, dead. you walked into some shit here. I was <laughs> or convinced drove they put anyway. me in jail drove and I would never shit. see Alice again. Foreshadowing. You ain't never gonna see Alice again anyway. I bet. Probably holy shit. He's magical. Maybe the fog took him. Suddenly his body was gone. Yep. Just saw that with my own eyeballs. I was in shock from the crash. I could hardly stand my feet. Nigga, you drunk. Go home. Okay, look up to the light. Reverse your controls for looking up and down. Hell no, I hate reverse controls. You can change camera settings in the menu option screen. Use the arrows to walk. Thank you, game. I did not know how to play games before this tutorial, so I pre- God! The camera sensitivity is really, uh... Really, really, really sensitive in this. I had to go to the lighthouse. I knew there was something important waiting for me there. Good thing you knew, because I sure didn't. That's a the joke I totally collapsed. knew. I'd have to find another way to the lighthouse. Oh! Oh! That's one way to, uh to die, I mean, not to the lighthouse, because, uh, well, anyway, so now I know not to go that way, it's so funny, because I remember last time playing this, it wouldn't let me jump, I had to go to the lighthouse, I knew there was something important waiting for me there, now I know, <laughs> oh god, the mouse sensitivity, it's making me nauseous, Oh, there he is. Hi, fella. Glad to see you're... Oh, okay. You don't even recognize me, do you, um, 
I, I don't know, but I'm running away now. Dude, I'm not making anything. I'm not making anything, oh man. Why you gotta accuse me of stuff? Okay, I'm getting to the lighthouse. And the only reason I'm not panicking right now is because... Oh! Oh, uh... Writing references. L-O-L. You can't stop me! Really? Dodge the attack. Well, he's not even trying. There we go. I'm successful. This is the only time I've ever been successful. I realized that the hitchhiker was a character from the story I've been working on. Alan Wake. How does it you bastard. feel to die by the hands of your own creation? I'm sure people with children who want to kill them know. All right, shift to sprint. I got it. Thank you. Appreciate it. Death by tornado! I don't even want to look back. I'm not gonna let him look back. Just follow the light, Alan. That's all you can do is just follow the light. I think. I don't even know if I'm going the right way. Okay. Oh, okay, thank you, dude. I, I didn't see that this was the only way there. I'm running as fast as I can, apparently, so. I like your letterman jacket. Can I have it? I've never seen a yellow and green letterman jacket. No, I... No idea who Clay Stewart is. Oh, poor Clay. Sorry, bro. You're not surviving tonight. Okay, you have a gun. Why are you running toward him? No! No! Oh, that's a stubborn neck, ain't it? Okay, there we go. Nice and separated. Oh, now he looks like Clay. That's cool. I was trapped. There was no way out. Hello. I don't want to die. I... Thank you, but I don't want to die. How many TVs does this bitch need? How? All right. Hide in the fridge. You'll survive the the blast. Like an India ocean. Oh, was a death trap. I had to get out. I did not mean to spoil that part for you. <laughs> I was making an Indiana Jones reference. Oh. Am I gonna die? Really? Oh. Alright. Get Follow to the, the light. lighthouse. The plane! The plane! I'm trying to follow the light, but you won't let me. You are hurt. I you am. should go into the light. Okay. You're only safe there. Doing, doing that now. Thank you. Alright. Yes. Oh, help. Help. Stay in the safe haven of... Oh. Well done. I have something important to tell you. Okay. It goes like this, for he did not know that beyond the lake he called home lies a deeper, darker ocean green, where waves are both wilder and more serene. To its ports I've been. To its ports I've been. Do you understand? No. No. It's very vague and Follow metaphorical. Oh, so it is God. So cool. Thank you, God. I dream to teach you. The darkness is dangerous. It's sleeping now. When it feels you coming, it will wake up. There's no time. I can only show you the most important thing. Which is... Checkpoint. The hitchhiker has been taken over by the dark presence. Oh dear. You can't hurt him now. The darkness protects him from all harm. Only light can drive the darkness away and make him vulnerable again. Here, take the light. What is the darkness? Turn your flashlight toward him and burn the darkness away. Could it be... Satan? You did it. I did. Now the darkness no longer protects him, but it's still inside, controlling him. He can't be saved. 
He's still a threat. He is still your enemy. But he's also a person. Here, take the gun. Okay. Now you'll die. No, you will, because I have a gun and you do oh shit. Never mind. I stand corrected. Yeah. Good. You've done well. Thanks. Remember what I've taught you. That is all. I will give you back your dream now. Thank you. Don't appreciate backseat nightmare, drivers. A terrible darkness was taking over the world. The lighthouse was the last safe place on Earth. Well, that sucks. How are we going to fit 7 billion people in there? Wait. Okay. This way. <laughs> Alright. Just to let you get. Oh, god damn it. You're not, because I just flashed you in the face with my flashlight, so... Yeah, and what, bro? And what? Yeah, that's what... Oh. Press R to reload faster? Well, I just reloaded, so I guess... Oh, no! No, sir, thank you, though. I'm doing something. Oh my god! What? You were so not there before. Oh, cheesy. Cheesy, Pete! Okay. Alright. Okay. Yes. Want to go toward this light. Yeah. Alright. What's in here? More. Oh, flare gun and ammo. That's convenient. The flare gun is the best weapon in this game. Is there stuff in here? I've never been to this little... I guess it's pointless anyway, so... Uh, that was a waste of time. Thank you, game, for putting stuff in Just here. Like um... No, I'm not, because... Flare gun! Bitches! What now? <laughs> I love you, flare gun. Um. Yeah. Really? You fell off the cliff? Pussy. Whoa. Where? 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 Oh, I see. There we go. Calm, cool, collected. That is how you win. Because I was doing very terribly the first time around. Very. There's a poster for this game in the game. Better. Oh, God, no, that's not... No. <laughs> no, game. What'd I tell you? No. wonder if I could just shoot him with the flare gun. Hold on. Ha, <laughs> I can't. <laughs> it's not happening. Sir. Why? Well, I don't know why I'm, like, trying to find stuff when... There was a cup of coffee there before last time, so... I don't know why I'm bothering, though, because nothing carries over from the dream into the actual game, so... Oh, that's right, I spoiled it for you. This is, uh... This is a dream. Wait, no, you already know. It's like, I'm not paying attention. Duh. Nice ass. Stairs. Spirally stairs. Looks like the lighthouse is not light. He's here. Who? Alan. Wake up. Okay. <gasps> Shh, baby. Just another nightmare. Everything's fine. <laughs> Your face is a nightmare, jeez. Right. Anything more than dozed off would be news for everyone. Cheer up, handsome. 
We're here. Handsome. Who are you looking at, girlfriend? Welcome to Bright Falls, where everything is about to turn dark. It's not irony, what's the word for that? Irony, I guess. How quaint! Let me guess, is this supposed to be upstate Maine? Right? Because it's supposed to be like a Stephen King novel. Checkpoint reached! Yo yo! Let's act like we're on vacation. Go stand next to that old gentleman there. I want a shot of you with the town in the background. What, we're not on vacation? Sure. I'll even give you a title for the shot. A city boy. Moments before he got eaten by a bear. There's no bears on the ferry. Otherwise it would be called a berry. Ah, uh, yeah, I know. Hi. Hi. Hello there. You picked a good time to visit Hello our thing. town. Deerfest is just two weeks away. Deerfest, huh? Did you hear that, honey? Look at that plane. I want to go on that. That's what I want to do. Wife, uh, if you don't mind me saying. I'm no, you can have her. Go ahead. Nice to meet you. Yeah, I'm Alan Wake. I won't pretend I don't recognize a famous writer such as yourself, Mr. Wake. A uh, pleasure. Suck my dick I'm more, why don't you? So, I hope this isn't too presumptuous of me, but I'm the night host at the local radio station. Any chance I could get an interview? Look, Mr. Maine. I'm on vacation. In fact, I'd appreciate it if we could keep my being here just between the two of us. I'm sure you understand. Fair enough. I, you can trust me to be discreet. Not a hard I don't man trust to you at all. You change your mind, though. I hope you two have a lovely holiday. Well, thank you, sir. I'm gonna go over Very here nice. and be a dick. I got a couple of really good ones. And I see you made a friend. That's cute. Oh, yeah. Right, Talk don't down please. to me. Yeah. Hey, bestseller. How's my favorite writer? Are you there yet? Very. Yeah. Are we there yet? We just got. Are we there yet? The Are we there? Trouble? Just say the word, and I'll hop on a plane and come make sure that you're left alone, Al. Please no, Barry, do. We're fine. Great. Great. <laughs> just want to make sure you can relax and recharge. So, how is the place? Has it gotten your creative juices flowing? Barry. Creative we're just juices. Settling in. Okay, is this a Al, porno? I'll call back later to make sure you're doing okay. And you call me if there's a problem, okay? Okay. Just looking out for you, buddy. Talk sure to you will. later. I love you too, Barry. Aww. Brotherly you know, he's going love. To be you every five minutes. Barry is Barry. I can always turn off the phone. What did I tell you? Hi, Text sweetie. Text message from Barry. He says hi to you too. He also says that he loves Alan, that sweet candy ass. Come on, let's get back to the car. Sure, why not? Leave Ferry. It'd be my pleasure. We need to stop at the local diner to get the cabin key from the landlord. A Mr. Carl Stucky. He's waiting for us. Stucky sound? I'll go fill her up while you get the key. I'll pick you up here in, say, 15 minutes? Sure. I don't think I need that long, but, uh... Alan? Thank you for coming here with me. I love you You're too. You're welcome, baby. I'll promise to behave. <laughs> I just, I like that face she gave him. Like, you better. <laughs> I'd forgotten there were still places like this. Towns where everybody knew everybody. Welcome to the Oh Dear Diner. Hi, I was wondering if you could help me. I'm looking for... Mr. Wake. Alan, Wake. Oh, God. I am your biggest fan. I know people say that all the time, but I really am. I'm glad to hear that. Rose. And creeped Rose, out. I'm looking for Mr. Stuckey. Carl Stuckey? Carl? Of course, Mr. Wake. He must have gone to visit the restroom. He'll be back in a moment. I can't believe it. I've got all of your books. I got the cutout from the bookstore when they took it out of the window. Uh, uh <laughs> and you keep it here. Cool, cool well, story, bro. Okay. They Good treat authors like rock stars in this town. Jeez. Last time I heard people in small towns coffee. didn't really read Just that Just don't blame much. me when you fall in <laughs> love, because it'll break your heart when you have to leave. Rusty here is no longer human. Nothing but black coffee under a thin layer of skin. Yeah, yeah that's just makes like me too. Do me a yeah. favor, Sonny. I could really use a tune right now. Coconut, number six in the jukebox. I'd do it myself, but 
Both of my legs have gone to sleep. Bad circulation. Yeah. Are you serious? Uh... Coconut again? You disgust me. Call yourself a rocker. Unbelievable. <laughs> is that... Is that, um... Oh, what's his name? John DiMaggio? You put the lime in the coconut. Drink them both up. Just because put we're brothers, don't think I won't murder you in your sleep. Please do. I don't want to see that guy again. I don't want to hear his creepy voice. Hello. Yes. Don't go in there, young man. You can hurt yourself in the dark. I think I can handle it, ma'am. I didn't want to wait. Um, I wanted to find Stucky scary. to get the key and get out as soon as possible. The waitress was giving me a headache. Overeager fans always did. Hey, at least you have fans. Not a lot of writers can say that. So, overprivileged douche. Let's try all the doors. Maybe there's something that leads somewhere. Or not. I don't know. Hello? Mr. Stucky? Dude, leave him alone. He's Carl trying to couldn't dump make it. Unfortunately, he was taken ill. But I have the key for you and instructions on how to get to the lake. Okay. Creepy. I wish you a good stay in my cabin. I'll come by later to check how you've settled in. And no. to meet your wife. No, no, no. Not necessary. I insist. No. Thanks. No, 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 no. Ugh. Okay, Crypt Keeper. Um... Cauldron Lake is a special place. Very inspiring. Yeah. Gotcha. Bye. She sounds like Edna from The Incredibles. Come and see my cabin, darling. Wonder if she left all I'm so happy this could be arranged. I bet you are, you soul sucking creeper. Anything else you wanna? Watcha! No. Okay. All right. You got lucky this time, young man. You can hurt yourself in the dark. <laughs> this really ought to be fixed, and then I must remind Sarah to change the lights at the station. It's been too long already. You seem like the most interesting person in this city. Like. Because you're the only one who... Ugh. I hadn't seen her leave, but the old lady was gone. Well, that's what I thought. She's a ghosty goo. A joust. Uh. I hear... Like, oh, that's that guy, he's asleep. Even that sounds better than your singing. Are you all right? <laughs> splendid, splendid! <laughs> Damn hernia! It swells this up. This guy like thinks a he's a fawn. Huh. Put the yeah. dime in the coconut and something, something yes. The Andersons, they're uh, local musicians. We're waiting for Dr. Hartman to come pick them up. They wandered off from his clinic at the Cauldron Lake Lodge. And they didn't have insurance. Bad. Alright, bye, creepy chick with the creepy I'll face and the creepiness. Bye, Mr. Wake. Bye. Hi, other creepy chick. Mission accomplished. The key and the directions. My hero. I got some flashlights, just in case. Hey, wait! Mrs. Wake! Your... Your keys! Oh, you done goofed up. That you done goofed. Was a real nut house. <laughs> Look Can you believe bus. this place? It's like the Golden Gate Bridge. This a wonderful setting for a book. We're supposed to be on vacation, Alice. I'll figure it out when we get back home. Okay? Okay. We can talk about this later. He's so damn pushy, Alice. Jeez. I didn't want to talk about it. I wanted to bury my head in sand. Once upon a time, I was a successful writer. But that was a long time ago. 
I hadn't been able to write a word in two years, not since my last book. It's because you're a bitch, Alan. And now the weather. It's going to be a clear night, so you folks in the big city might want to look up every once in a while and see those stars winking down at you. I love the visuals in this game. Here, but they'll light your way. It's very picturesque. And the soundtrack is not bad either. Here we are in the mysterious Cauldron Lake. Wow. Wonder if I could save this. It's gorgeous, Alan. Well, it's thank you. Right. It's uh. Don't worry, honey. I totally I'll get you inside planned. safe and sound before it gets dark. And I've got the flashlight. I totally yeah. planned this I'm whole okay. thing, baby. Alice had a phobia, the fear of darkness. I wanted to make sure we were inside with the lights on before sunset. But first, I'm gonna go wandering backward. Oh, okay, there's nothing over here. How the fuck did we get over? Th Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, yeah. So let me go this way. A dooby dooby doo. A dooby dooby doo. Running up the hill, running up the hill. Running up the hill for no damn reason. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm gonna drive away. Bye, Alice. Enjoy yourself. Her, her, her. Like there's anywhere to what? F for focus, focus. How about I pick up this coffee thermos? Yay! That's kind of gross. It's just been sitting there. Friggin' a vagrant could have been drinking from it, with their parched, crusty, herpes-infested lips. The cabin obviously got its name from the shape oh. of the island. It looked like a giant bird leg. Alice had mentioned that the lake was a caldera. There was a dormant volcano under it. You guys are in the safest damn place in the world. You made a good choice, Alan. Good choice. Oh, nervely. I really would stay in a place like this, though. It's beautiful. Except for the whole you guys are about to die thing that kind of puts a damper on it it's a nice place to be buried I'm sure hmm you want to go for a swimmy swim hey look this is the well that uh, Samara is gonna crawl out of and kill you two with her psychic powers right oh Dude. boids the boids Ooh. Ugh, get away from me with your bird flu. Bird leg cabin. Cause it's a boyd leg. A boyd leg. Oh, you're so slow, Alice. Gosh. But anyway, I think it's been long enough for this first episode. I'm gonna see if I can save this. Options. No, I can't. Awesome. Um... Oh, it looks like there was a save point here, so that's good. But uh, I'm going to call it quits for the time being, and I hope you guys enjoy this game as much as I do. And I hope you will tune in for the next segment uh, where I might finish the episode. Anyway, thanks for watching, and bye! Bye-bye!